Hey guys, I'm here with Laura Keller, my go-to trainer who has literally changed my body in the last four months. She's gotten so popular that now I can't even get her sometimes because I've given her to all my friends. So today, during her busy schedule, she came to us to help you guys out. She's gonna get you bikini, she's gonna get you bikini booty ready. We're gonna do a little bit of what she does with me. In this series, you guys can do anywhere, in a hotel room, in your home, in your apartment, literally anywhere. We're outside of my house, and she's gonna take this you beautiful through. day. Let's do it. Let's do it. So these bands are amazing. The first band that we're gonna use is a pull-up band. You can get them on Amazon. They come in a bunch of different resistances. So you're gonna put yourself in a little pod, feet nice and wide. You're gonna take your hands up to the shoulders, palms facing front. I have Molly on a lighter band because we're both tall. Flip those palms so they're facing this way. Yep, perfect. So we need a little less resistance because we need more range of motion. So you're going to take it all the way down into that squat, nice and low, weight in the heels, chest stays up. You're going to drive the palms up, full body control that lower, use those abs. We're going to do this 15 times. A nice trick that I like to use to keep the chest up is to keep the focus high. It's going to help you keep that chest up, always checking in with the weight in the heels core is engaged, knees driving over toes, healthy squats always. Give me five more of these. Hi Ruth. I'm oh, smiling on the outside, hurting on the Burning inside. on the inside. And this is a nice full body warm up. She calls it a warm up. It is. Last one. You're going to keep those feet nice and wide. You're going to flip the palms and you're going to do a bicep curl. You want to keep the elbows glued into the waist. Exactly. Lower with control and lift. The other nice thing about these bands is you're in charge of the resistance. So if you want it to be a little harder, you can take it wider. If you want it to be a little easier, you can take the feet in. We're gonna do 15 of these. Rubes works out with, with our puppy friend. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> Give me five more of these. And we like to keep it going move into move, no breaks. Two more. She can talk and count. She Last forgets. one. Flip those palms. You're gonna take the chest slightly forward and you're gonna drive up with the row. And taking that chest forward makes you force engage your core on the lift up. Yes. Driving those elbows back. Core stays engaged. 15. 15's our magic number for this series. I mean, if it's not a baby. <laughs> it's if it's a not a baby, it's a puppy. Your fourth child. Give me five more. This looks perfect. Three more, check in with the core, make sure it's always working for you. Last one. We're gonna go into a little single arm drive. So you're gonna have the palm facing the body. You're gonna cross that midline and you're gonna drive with the elbow and also use those abs. So you give yourself a little shift with the rib cage. The obliques are driving. You're also working the back of that arm. 15 each arm. <laughs> So I'm loving the enthusiasm. No. Seven more. You guys have asked so many questions about Laura. We actually just did an IGTV thing for you. Answered a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Four more. Woo! Three, two, last one. Other arm right away. Fifteen. So with this circuit, you can go through as many times Depends on your schedule and how much time you have. I would say at least two, three is preferable. She makes me do three. I do. So we're going to take the standing series, which is a good arm and core burnout, and then we're going to take it down and do a little gluten like burnout for you guys also. Give me five more. Three. It's two. It's so funny. I have to tell you guys a story. Last one. So Candy Outland is my best friend from high school. We grew up together. And I was recently on spring break with her in Cabo. And we go to the gym and I have like a tank in this one. And she goes, holy shit, you have real abs again. I was like, well, yeah. I, she goes, yeah, my friends thought you were retouching it. I was like, no. I have <laughs> we thought you were retouching real abs again. I was like, yes, Thanks, Katie. after three babies. She's like, you can go report. I have real abs again. Three babies have lived in this body. They have. <laughs> so you're going to loop that band under your back foot. The front foot is out, it's straight in front of you. You're gonna bring that hand up to the shoulder, palm faces front. You're gonna drive up over the shoulder and you're gonna control the lower with the lats. 
push it up over the shoulder, lower. This is a tough one. I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm never smiling <laughs> when I do this workout. This is you the exact workout I did. We did, like what, two days ago? Yeah. You want to force engage that core. And we're doing 15 as our magic number on reps for this whole series, so it's really easy for you guys to remember. Give me five more of this arm, and then we're gonna go right to the other side. Dos mas. Last one. Switch legs right away. That right leg is front, left leg is back. You've got that band with the palm facing front. Perfect. Drive it up. Control that lower down. Abs, lats. Abs, lats. And you're getting that arm burn out with it. The form looks so good. Proud of you, girl. She's just saying that because you guys are watching. <laughs> Can you do this? It's not better? true. It's not true. <laughs> Give me five more this arm. And then we're gonna move into a little plank push. Cause you know I love a plank. She loves herself a plank. The most effective thing you can do, full body. Two more. Oh gosh. Last one. There she is. So, you're gonna loop it around your back so your palms are out. You're gonna take it all the way down. Let's do this facing sideways so people can really see form. You're gonna take it out into your plank. Take it down. Oh you got this. Makes me do complicated you got this. Plank with the feet wide. You're gonna need your feet wide to stabilize on this. And then you're gonna lift and lower, exactly. And you wanna keep the hips and shoulders super still on this. Force engages the core. We're gonna do 16 so you're even, eight and eight. Drop those hips a little bit. There it is, perfect. Give me four more. Three, two, last one, hold it. Bring those feet together. Give me 20 mountain climbers. Surprise. Drive with those abs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, boom. boom. So that's the first circuit we're gonna do. One out of three. I would go around three times on that one. You will feel it. By the time you get to that third round, it's an aggressive burn, but it's so good. It's an aggressive burn. It's an aggressive burn. You ready to take it down? Let's take it Hit down. those glutes. Ruby, give me back my. Did she band? take the band? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yes, there it is. So we're going to take it down to the ground. These are little booty bands that you can order on Amazon. It's like $10 for a pack. They come in multiple resistances. I have Molly on a nice heavy one because she's strong. So you're going to loop it around your legs. You're going to take it all the way down to a kneel. and then you're gonna lift that left leg in that 90 degree abductor position, like a little fire hydrant. Yes, perfect. Target the glutes, targets those glutes. And we're gonna do two moves in a row to really carve out. Now we're hitting the side and the abductor and then we're gonna take it straight back. So you're gonna be here for 20. And then we're gonna push right into another move. <laughs> Give me five more here. So you didn't think you were gonna get a workout in today. No, I was like, we don't have to work out. We didn't today. train today, and I was like, but you're still gonna work out. Two. Last one, right away, send that left leg straight back to me. Keeping those hips square. Yep. And this is that thut that we talked about, that thigh butt merger. It's right in there. Here for 20 also. Form looks good and you really want to make sure once you feel like you have the move that you take the focus down the neck is relaxed the traps are relaxed no tension in the upper body tensions all in the abs and the legs and the glutes give me five more come on set come on set Woo! three two last one and then we go straight into the right leg with that first move exactly no breaks we just burn it out and the fun thing about this is you also start to burn out that supporting hip. So her left hip is gonna start to burn because it's stabilizing for her. Burn. And that gives you that nice cut that everyone wants. Ruby, How's morale? Don't need that. <laughs> she, Ruby. Just, she just shifted to another band. Ruby. It's fine, those are indestructible. Give me five more here. Honestly. Last three. <laughs> Two. Last one, send that right leg straight back to me. Thut, right thut. Here for 20. Where did I see you? Woo! 
check in with that core, I mean, make sure it it's working. So bad. Neck relaxed. Resistance is everything. It makes it so much harder. Give me five more. Four. Three. Dos. Uno. Okay, so for our next move, we're gonna take the band. You're gonna have it looped around your left ankle and then you're gonna have your right foot underneath. So we're gonna start sideways. You've got the band looped around your left ankle under your right foot, down on both elbows. Neck is relaxed. You're gonna curl up that right hamstring and you're gonna drive up, pressing through that heel. The hips are square, the knee is facing the ground. You're gonna tap and you're gonna lift. Core is engaged and the goal is to also not pull that left foot off the ground, everything is working for you. We're here for 20. Yep. Hard flex of that foot, driving the heel straight up to the sky. Looks good and keep that knee bent. Yep. Like you're pressing the flat part of your foot against the, the sky or the ceiling where you are. Give me five more here. So close. Four, three, Two, we're gonna hold the last one at the top and she's gonna give me 20 baby pulses into that band. Perfect. Hitting that thigh. You're halfway there, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, boom. And we do the other side right away. So, band is looped around your right ankle this time, under that left foot, exactly, perfect. Tap that knee, lift, hard flex of the foot, driving through that heel, sending the energy to the back of the leg here for 20. You're already halfway there. 10 more. So hard. So hard. Last five, four, three, two. We hold the last one at the top. Press through baby pulses for 20. Halfway there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. How's morale? So hard. <laughs> so, Next, we're gonna work on our abductors. We're gonna lie down to the side. You wanna make sure that your hips are perfectly stacked. I'll get out of your way in a second. Hips are stacked. You don't wanna sink into that shoulder. You wanna press up. This front hand is here to support you. You're gonna lift and you're gonna lower. Lift and lower. And with these bands, since you have options of resistance when you order these, you want it to feel challenging, but you want it to feel doable. And we're gonna do the same thing with this where we do 20 and then we're gonna hold at the top and press for 20 baby pulses. You look like a beautiful mermaid. I feel like <laughs> Give me five more here. Four, three, two, hold the last one at the top. 20 tiny babies, yep. And that looks chill, but it's just not. The burn is real. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, other side. I mean, and it's just that nice lean out because we're not pushing a lot of weight. There's no way to bulk with this. People are always worried about bulking. It's very hard to actually bulk, especially as a woman. Lifting Even lower. though that was my number one fear. Her number one. We were lifting like three pound hand weights and she was like, I don't know. What if I bulk? I'm just going <laughs> to remove some nature from you real quick. And Maybe. slow these down. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it all the way at the top. Try not to tap my hands. 20. Nice and high. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. It's one more so move. Hard. One more move in this part of the series, and then we're gonna take you through a fun, easy to remember cardio burnout. So we're gonna be all the way on our back. I know the adjective fun doesn't always feel appropriate, but it is fun. Feeling good is fun. You're gonna wrap the band around above your knees. You're gonna come into that nice wide lying down bridge position. You're gonna roll up through the spine. You wanna go one vertebrae at a time. Yes, and then one vertebrae at a time down. Pressing all the way up through and keeping the weight in those heels so you're driving through the back of the leg. Yes. Beautiful. We're only here for 10. This is a really great little ab warm up. Really get in there. Deep low abs for people who asked about low abs. This is another great way to hit it. And see how she's getting her hips up nice and high. She's driving through those heels. 
hard. Give me three more here. Two. Last one, we're gonna hold it at the top and we're gonna press those legs into the band for 20. That burn is real. Burn and her hips real. are high, they're still. That is good form. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, let it go. Boom. So that's our little glute and leg burnout Ooh. part of the circuit. And now we're gonna take it into some cardio for you guys. Oh, so excited. <laughs> Your favorite. So we're gonna start with reverse lunges, one each leg. You're gonna take it down nice and low, nice and stable, driving through that front heel. Two burpees. <laughs> you don't want a burpee, you're doing extra lunges. There she is. These are our favorite. Don't forget that jump at the end of the burpee. I hate that jump. I hate that freaking jump. Two more. Jump. I hate it so much. Because we're at four. Into four burpees. Jump. Jump, boom. Last one, then we take it into six, five, four, three, her resentment towards me is building, two, <laughs> one, six burpees. And you can take those arms up in the jumps too if you so choose. There she is, two more. She's like, I've now chosen not to. And then we go into eight. You wanna do it? Now she's in, she's committed. Six, <sighs> keeping it stable, no wiggles. Three. By the way, we gotta check at these shoes. Two, oh yeah. Last obsessed. one. Eight burpees. Take those arms up, you got it. Yep. Five more. Three. Two, last one. We're breathing heavy. And then you do 10 and 12. I won't put you through that okay. on this beautiful day. <laughs> I cheated in eight when I was changing. <laughs> so each section, three times, except for the pyramid, which you only take it up once and you, you take, take it, it down. down. So you go 12, and that's it, trust me, that is 10. enough and you will know that that is enough. Woo! I love you, Laura. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. For you guys, honestly, you can do this anytime. Follow her. On Instagram, she's incredible. She has incredible stories. She puts me through a lot of pain. <laughs> but with, with her, love. <laughs> and through diet, I have lost 16 pounds since the beginning of the year. And she works so hard. And it has been a total diet and fitness change. And I never thought I would say this, but I actually really like weights. Yeah, I know. We've come so far. And I actually don't miss one. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> Woo!